Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the breaking new news, which is that Bart Allen, aka Impulse, is officially coming to The Flash in Season 7, so we gotta freak out and break down this amazing news because they just cast the future son of Barry and Iris, and yes, you heard that right. They are twisting the comics and he's not going to be their grandson, but we're going to get into that. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Also remember guys, tonight Supergirl and The Flash are on. This is Supergirl's season premiere and this is The Flash episode 5 of season 7. So we're going to be breaking down and reviewing both of them right after they finish. So be on the lookout for that. Please be sure to tune in. But for now, let's talk about this breaking news. So Bar Allen is officially confirmed he is coming to The Flash. So I've legit been waiting for this for years. I've been saying, I want Bar Allen. I want to see Bar Allen because I love this character. And so he's always really interesting because he would give a very different dynamic to the show. Yes, it's going to probably be quite similar to what Nora was doing because they are supposed to be of a similar attitude and a very similar age because Nora is supposed to be quite young but I think Bart is going to be actually younger in this because they describe him as the fastest teenager alive in the official character description for season 7. So he's finally arriving, super happy, so they've cast an actor called Jordan Fisher who will play the role. So he's actually an actor on Broadway and he's done some film and TV stuff. I'm not familiar with him myself, but I know people that are familiar with his work really like this casting. And I mean, I'm just happy to see Bart here and I'm happy that Jordan's getting the chance. Honestly, I would have taken anyone to play this character, anyone that's good at acting. I'm sure Jordan is really good. So I'm really looking forward to see his take on Bart Allen. You guys might know Bart from the comics or you probably know him from Young Justice. Because I feel like that is the most mainstream thing that you guys might have seen, like that most people know Bart Allen from. They're like, oh, Bart Allen, Impulse. Oh, wait, that was Kid Flash from Young Justice. So, yeah, maybe you guys have seen him there. He played a big part in that TV show. But now he's officially coming to live action, which I'm really, really excited about. And so Fisher's first appearance is confirmed to be in the 150th episode of The Flash. Now, you guys might be asking, when is the 150th episode of The Flash? Well, this is in fact the 17th episode of the season, so that is the penultimate episode. That means we only have two episodes after he comes. So he comes and debuts in episode 17, then he'll be in episode 18, and then that's when the season ends, because episode 18 is the season finale. However, you won't have to wait very long. It's going to be literally like a month or two months break between the seasons, because The Flash isn't going to finish airing until like the start of August. And it's going to be airing in like the start of October, that being the next season, season 8. So that's really exciting. We're obviously going to see lots of him next season in season 8, which is really exciting. But let's go ahead and talk about what they have said is going to be happening to do with Bart coming to the show. So this is a quote from the character description that they've released. So the future son of Barry Allen and Iris West Allen. Bart is the fastest teenager on the planet. Due to Bart's penchant for wildly impulsive behavior, hence his name, Impulse, that is his superhero name, a stunned Barry and Iris will have their hands full trying to teach their new son patience. But it's a task they'll have to accomplish in order for their family to work together and to stop Team Flash's biggest threat yet. So that's what the CW has released in regards to his casting and Bart coming to the show. So if you guys didn't know, Bart Allen is the future grandson of Barry and Iris in the comics, normally. However, there is going to be a big twist that this character description confirms, is that he will in fact be Barry and Iris's future son rather than grandson. So yeah, like I said, in the comics normally, he's the future grandson of Barry and Iris. And so with this being canon and this being confirmed, we don't know where he comes from in the future, but sometime in the future we know. This could mean that Nora West Allen, who we saw in season 5, could be completely erased because she is Barry and Iris's future daughter in the future. Obviously, they don't have to have one child. So there is a chance that they are siblings. So could they be the Tornado Twins? Maybe they'll twist it so that Bart and Nora are the new versions of the Tornado Twins. So not Dawn and Don Allen like it is in the comics because the Tornado Twins 
are two completely different people from Bart Allen and Nora Allen. Obviously Nora is based on XS in the comics, she is a legionnaire, and Bart Allen is the grandson of Barry and Iris. So they are twisting things and I really like this twist that he is going to be their future son, because normally in the comics, Bart's mentor is normally Wally, but I don't think Keenan Lonsdale is going to be coming back much at all this season, if at all, probably not. So I think making him their son is actually the best way for them to be fully involved in what is going on, because they're going to be teaching him like they taught Nora about how things work and how Team Flash works, and obviously he's going to join Team Flash at least for like a whole season, and that obviously is going to be in Season 8, not Season 7, which we're on right now. So let's talk about the villain of The Flash Season 7's back half, because it will most likely be from the future. So we have to ask a few questions. Number one, why is Bart in the present? So he's obviously from the future, like he always is in the comics, as Barry and Iris can't just like magically have a teenage son, and that's what he's described as, the fastest teenager alive on the planet. So is the reason for him coming back to the past, is it to help Team Flash? to actually defeat this villain. It would seem he plays a big part in actually taking down the villain at the end of the season. I'm gonna say with them introducing a new speedster, obviously in the form of Bart Allen, I really do think Godspeed or whoever turns out to be the one sending the clones from the future is in fact a speedster or somehow get speedster powers because I think that is how he's going to help take down the big bad. Because Barry might not even be enough to take down another speedster right now, obviously he's not at his most powerful, he's just got his powers back, he hasn't been using it for a while. Or the reason for him coming back to the past could be similar to what it's like in the comic in a lot of cases, is that he wants to meet his parents when they were younger or when they were alive, I mean we don't know the future, but again that is going to come very close to what happened with Nora. So I'm saying it's more likely that he's back because he's tracked down those Godspeed clones and that is the reason he shows up, I think at first, because I feel like there's got to be a reason for him to come back in time and if it's just to see her parents who maybe are dead or maybe they just were different in the future, I think that is going to be very very similar to Nora's motivations to coming back to just see her dad. Obviously in this case it could be to see Iris or it could be to see both of them. So by giving him a reason of him tracking down said villain, that makes his motivations delineate from Nora's. And talking of the Godspeed clones, are we actually saying it's Godspeed? I really don't think it's going to be August Heart. I think it will be someone underneath the mask who is different. However, it might not even be Godspeed in the first place, or will it be someone else sending back the clones? But I really think it's going to be to do with the Godspeed clones, this back half of the season, whoever turns out to be the real main villain behind the scenes. And I'm really playing into this idea, especially since they've been teasing all of this future stuff with Abracadabra, saying that Barry is going to become obsessed with the future, and them now confirming Bart Allen's going to come back from the future, and is going to help take down Team Flash's greatest threat yet. So I really do think now is the time for them to reintroduce the idea of speedster villains because they haven't done a proper big bad speedster villain in a long time and with Bart coming, with all of this future storylines going on, I really think that they're going to reintroduce all the time traveling storylines and the speedster storylines and I definitely think this could link into Abracadabra's warnings of Barry being obsessed with the future. What if he was actually talking about the future in terms of that villain sending back the clones. Like what happens if that actually happens this season and he becomes obsessed because he wants to stop this person sending the Godspeed clones back, maybe it is the real Godspeed, and so he eventually makes his way to the future and maybe with the help of Bart Allen he does that. And as a tag team, they take him down together. So it's very obvious that Bart is going to be playing a big role in the Flash Season 8. He's not going to be playing that much of a big role apart from at the ending of the season and how they're going to take down that final big bads that we have. But he will be appearing in the Flash's 150th episode, that is episode 17, the penultimate episode of the season. He will probably appear in the season finale as well because they might as well include him if they have him there. And so in regards to the Flash's 150th episode, it's going to be a big episode. It's not going to be like how Arrow did it. Arrow did a kind of documentary office style episode where they recapped on the past. I think with him showing up, Bart Allen that is, showing up in the 150th episode is going to be a big deal and it's going to introduce some of the storylines that's going to go into the next season 
and I think that's where you'll get all the time travel stuff, you'll get the future stuff, and you're going to see him next season as a very prominent character. He will probably become a regular character, and obviously Jordan Fisher will be a regular actor on the show as Bart Allen, aka Impulse, and he might even transition at one point into Kid Flash. That is definitely a possibility that could happen in Season 8, but definitely the 150th episode is going to be a big deal. I think this says everything that, yeah, we are serious about this. This is going to be a big episode, and it's going to set up a lot of what is to come maybe rather than looking back into the past like a documentary they look into the future that would be a very flash thing to do also eric wallace has talked about wanting zoom back and wanting to bring back some familiar faces i think if there's any episode to do it this season it is the penultimate episode because it's a very important episode and if you guys remember back to the flash's 100th episode they brought back zoom they brought back teddy sears to play zoom himself so what's to say he couldn't show up in this episode in some capacity? Also, it's likely we could get some stuff with Reverse Flash and maybe even Sabotar. But that is about it. This is crazy news. I really, really can't wait to see what is going on with this season, especially with them now announcing we're not doing Barry and Iris' grandson, but we're making Bart Allen their son. And I'm just really curious how this all ties into Godspeed and Big Bad of the season and how it wraps up and continues into season 8 because it 100% is. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Remember, The Flash and Supergirl are on tonight. We're going to be doing my reviews slash breakdowns right after the episode airs. So please be sure to be on the lookout on my channel. So turn on notifications if you're new and don't have them on. Click the bell button that is. But for now, click here for my latest Flash video and click here for my latest Supergirl video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.